Would you like to see us break some brand new totems? Neither do we. We're gonna do it anyways. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Ryan Jinks and we're in the middle of nowhere. Winter is upon us and going to close us down soon from coming back out to this area. So we really want to break a couple of these see how they break, and then get your feedback before we break the rest of them. Um, I bought these, bought them brand new, just for these videos, because we want to break cams, we want to break them all different ways, and, well, totems are pretty popular right now, I guess, because, uh, let me show you how these work. This is missing the stem, which is normally how they're made, and it puts all the force on the lobes directly instead of the, the crossbar that holds all the lobes together. And so all the spring action is in here that makes it go back. And this is plastic. You're not supposed to clip to this. Apparently on the instructions, you're not supposed to use these almost in any way except in 70, sunny, and straight down. But we're going to find out if pulling just here is bad or you, if you have to use the sling. Now the sling is pretty bomber. Looks great. And the wire is padded, so the sling may not break where it touches the wire, which is what happened in some of our other cam videos. You can load this like this, but body weight only. They say you're not supposed to whip on this. Well, let's find out. So we're gonna show you a couple of our placements, and then we are gonna start pulling with a something to one with three of us pulling, so we can get some Newtons out of this thing. So I think our first one that we're gonna pull is this orange one. It was, it was in there, damn it. There we go. So here we have two lobes that are more engaged than these other two lobes, which I'm trying to get them completely disengaged for a better test. We really do want to see what two lobes can do. So we're going to, ooh, ooh, that's terrible. Let's start with that and we will clip it to the sling here and we will pull it off of the tree over there. So we start with a five to one pulley and then we just keep doing mechanical advantage until we can get the thing out. And we are going to extend that out so we don't have as much stretch. If you are sad we are breaking these, please tell me in the comments below, because I'm sad breaking them. Hi, I'm Bobby Hutton and we're going to pull out some totems. And I'm Brian and yeah, we're going to bust some totems, <sighs> scary. Are you sad or uh, excited? I haven't gotten onto the totem bandwagon, so we'll see. Okay, what do you have here? What are you pulling with? Um, five to one, we think. Um, and then we have a three to one on top of that, and another three to one on top of that. We just grabbed everything we could, and you'll notice that we go from span set to span set to a long am steel slang. So this is a little tricky setting all these up. So we are just gonna pull straight out because that's all we can do today. That one flying! Two Kellenutons for a placement that bad. And our cam still looks like it's in good shape. So, ooh. Oh, that cam is, that would take some filing down if I wanted to use that. But we're not, we're gonna just place it again. Let's do that again. So this time we have more engagement with all four lobes. Let's just see how this one fares and then we'll try something different. And go for it. <laughs> That's so sad and satisfying. So even our, our good attempt was 2.8. Cam looks fine. Our lobes are looking pretty chewed up. That's some pretty soft metal. And let's try another one or another placement. Here we have a much better placement in a horizontal crack. You can kind of see how that crack is orientated with our system. Yeah, you're gonna have to put some force on this one. Reset. 
while they're resetting, you can see how close those two things get together when there's a lot of force on the system. The lobe still looked very engaged. What happened? What, what broke? So our protraction here um, no longer goes back together. This plate you can see is kind of bent that way and this one is bent out. It doesn't um, go anymore. We are brake testing all sorts of things today. Yeah. That's a real bummer. Um, so what I think happened when it's being pulled out, the rope was pulling on. So you can kind of see where that just happens over time. It just bent the plates out. They're just not that strong. They beam. redesigned those protractions. Um, this is a redesigned one because I think they had issues with that. Yeah. Huh. Well, I might get one of these then. Go for it. Did you fall again? Okay, that was violent since I was standing next to it. Huh. That's all that's left of my totem. And it, and it broke the sling at 14.35 kilonewtons for total destruction. Where's the rest of my cam? Oh, that's sad. That is super sad. That is super sad. <laughs> Oh, so sad. Wow. Careful. Well. Oh. Hey. <laughs> there we go. One spring left. Wow. Rest in peace. Well, it looks like more force was on one side than the other. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. In this area, there's no better placement. So it's like... Straight in and bend it? Yeah. yeah. Or in the direction of pull and hope the two lobes in the back are doing something. Yeah. Shall we find out? Yeah, I think we should find out. Rarely do we do brake tests with <laughs> the labels still on them. Yeah. Kind of fun though. Oh no, the tag fell off <laughs> at 9.5. We have a sort of functioning totem. All the springs are there. The cam lobes are chewed up, really, really chewed up, but uh, still, still functioning. And the sling still looks like it's in good enough condition. I don't see any of the stitching failing. So we just lost a tag. Let's do it again. So I replaced the cam where all the lobes are in the best case scenario, but it's pulling all the force on this side, which means I think it's only engaging these two lobes here. And that's a problem with this dual stem system. That ant's gonna have one hell of a ride. So the slow-mo for you guys to appreciate was hanging on this rock right here. So <laughs> hopefully it captured that. 11, 11 kilonewtons. Yeah, and it's still functioning. So it looks like this thing is, well, no, I use the word functioning loosely. This cable is bent. And I think that's making this not function. And the lobes are super chewed up, but I don't think that's the issue. I mean, they kind of look bent inward. Now I'm going to try to play with this thing and see if I can get it to work. We're going to break it for real this time. So two of the lobes work. So we connected the spot you're not supposed to. And it's kind of in a flaring crack, so that's not ideal. But we'll find out. Oh! 
A heavy person weighs one kilonewton. So you could use that for body weight only, like they said. Oh my gosh, you made the whole thing functional again. <laughs> we fixed it. So that's how you fix your totem cams. Shall we put it in the horizontal crack for the ultimate destruction test? So what we got here is a pretty much great placement. At least those inner lobes are good enough. On this side, we're gonna test what one side can do. Well, that was violent. So it broke the cable where it meets the lobes. Uh, many times when we put carabiners on the cables on cams, it will break where the bend is. So that's very fascinating. The sling is still in great shape considering it's been through a bundle of tests already. What's our dyno in the sky say? I'm pretty happy with that. 8.41, you guys. I could get under that. Wow, it still works. <laughs> like this, this lobe right here is missing a cable. Like what's pulling it down? Oh, it's the one, it's that one cable there. It's the only one left, but that's not what holds the strength. What holds it to in the cam is that thing in the back. Very interesting. All right, let's place it again and pull on the other side. Oh, we'll pull the sling on the other side, which it's only attached to one side. So much fun, you guys. Okay, so we ended up clipping this sling, which is going to maybe unstitch. That is not a favorable way of pulling that stitching. And it's attached to that one other side, which is attached to those two lobes in there. So yeah, the other side's not gonna do much at all for this system. Oh, stop. 3.68, and that stitching came undone, pulling it super unfavorably. So I believe we have another five kilonewtons to go. Kind of see that those lobes are 50% engaged still. Oh, the sling is still intact. 8.3, that's a pretty consistent number. And, oh, that cable broke. Who would have thought? Uh, these cables are pretty thin, but they held up pretty well. I like how the trigger wire still makes them work, even though there's no way to connect to the cam anymore. I don't feel like pulling on this thing is gonna accomplish anything since it's literally just sliding off as I wiggle it so whatever um i got another fun test to show you guys so this is a metolius knockoff of an alien what we have here is a single stem cable that's pulling on that crossbar and uh we're gonna see if that affects how it gets pulled out so i'm gonna place this like i would if i were to climb so if i do that the back two lobes are pretty engaged the top two ones are not let's find out what happens here and then we can place it more straight in and and just compare this cam with that single stem to see if that's going to do better for us that is so scary to stand next to it is still functioning uh, a little hard to pull. The lobes are, they're okay. Oh, that cable is kind of torqued, but it did. Uh, yeah, that was, that was impressive, 5.15. Metolius offset would probably do better. Maybe it's not Metolius. I love my aliens. That's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. Do you like Metolius or aliens better? Put that in the comments below. Let's put this in again. Well, I tried to place it better and it already shifted. So we have the bottom two lobes are doing quite a bit. The top two lobes, yeah, they're pretty much, yeah, they're pretty much bad. Oh, that's pretty bad. Oh man, that's really bad. Yeah, that's, that's, oof. 
Ugh, not impressed. All right, should we pull this to destruction? We have placed this in here in a way that should break probably the sling. The stem is straight, the trigger wires are not. The lobes are chewed, but I think it still works. Oh, well, it's twisted. Yeah, oh, it still works. 7.86.